uh, he had a bit of a he had a bit of a beef with Sharp. Not just sure if you guys seen this, but this guy and Sharp had a very tetchy back and forth. Let me see if I can get it up on here. There we go. They had a very tetchy back and forth where it seemed like they don't get along. I don't think this guy likes Sharp too much. So listen to the the. the, the I think this is from yesterday. So this guy, I think his name is AJ. Is it AJ? Yeah, AJ. AJ sat on the news and had some spicy words to say to Art, to, to, to Sharp. Listen to this. Super fan, nigga. You Wait! Come? We <laughs> in a room with two Super Drake fans, bro. Hey, oh. listen, man. They come, they come from us. Yeah. Say something. <laughs> Super Drake fan is crazy. Hey, nigga. But, but you, you gotta, know, I'm, I'm, you, I love Drake. You gotta you be to, biased to the light skin legend. I fuck with Drake. Hold, Hold up, you have to stand like on Drake. it when you have the mural, though. You have to stand on it with the mural. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so super you can't Drake just, Wait, you can't say, mirror? but I think yeah. that's what it was. No, no homo. Like, no, Y'all haven't seen like the mirror? I'm a super E40 fan. I don't get fucked with nobody. You, got a, you, you got, got a mirror? Me? You got a mirror of E40, you said? Me? No, I ain't got a mirror of E40. Oh. I just said I'm a super E40 fan. Mm. Yeah. Where'd you get a mirror? I put him up in my studio or something like that. Like you remember in Baby okay. Boy how Jody had Tupac on the it's wall? Is in the studio? Hit Sharps is in right behind his bed. Pay homage. Like, you know what I'm saying? No. Am I the only person that didn't understand all the beef around Sharp having that Drake fucking poster thing in his bathroom? It's obviously a thing to like get girls talking and shit. It's, you clearly know why it's there. You know, if you know anybody that, you know, that likes a fuck a lot, they usually got little trick. It's kind of like the male version of like live, laugh, love. You know, I didn't really see the issue with it, to be fair. It didn't make that much sense why everyone was freaking out about him having these album covers in his bathroom of like all the best Drake albums. So it's like, who cares? Like, like if you, I don't know. It's, it's like having a poster someone on your wall. Is that really that big of a deal? What's your favorite song, <laughs> and what's the difference if it's not in the bathroom if it's in the living room? I don't understand that too. What's the difference? Surely, be, it being in the bathroom and you taking a shit and looking at it probably is a more interesting than having it in a living room somewhere. I don't know. Bathroom in my house. Yeah, that's, that's wow. Yeah. What's your favorite Drake song? Yeah, uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Family, family matters. matters my shit. Yeah. What? Look at Sharp. Look at his smile. You could tell Drake's an, Sharp is an actual Drake guy. I knew he'd say family matters. I knew it. Like a smirk, man. You bumping that family matters? <laughs> <laughs> you bumping family matters, nigga? Are you still on the are you still on the fence? Or do you still think he shouted you out on Family Matters? Yeah. Come on. Hard part six. Hard part six, my bad. Yeah. Come on, man. One hundred percent. You think so for real? Yeah. Or are you just committed to the I bit? Like I think this. he might be committed to the bit. You commi and also, I don't understand why people are annoyed that he thinks Drake shouted him out. Even if he did or didn't, it doesn't really matter because no one would believe him. Until Drake comes out and says it, no one would ever believe it, even if he did do it. So just let the guy run with his beliefs. Isn't it? I don't. Again, I, I think all of this has kind of been blown out of proportion, more so because people don't like Drake. So anybody that kind of rides for him extra hard, like Sharp does, you're going to be, you know what I mean? You're going to get a residual hate. You're going to get residual pushback. But I don't think it was that big of a deal. There's, There's, no, way. Way. There's no way he believes that. You well, know what? Do you, do you know what? Have you noticed, by the way, this guy keeps making little snappy comments at, 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 at Sharp. There's no way he believes that. He's, I think Sharp's starting to read that this guy is an op. Like, there's going to be tension. Just keep watching as it goes along. This guy does not like Sharp at all. Do you know what a B you know what do you know what a B sharp is? You're wrong. It's an A. Exactly, Andrew W. I just listened to um, Family Matters today. That third verse, man. Honestly, we got some of the best tracks ever from Drake because of this beef. But that third verse, like that, the way it switched, yo, yo, that third part or the third section of the fucking song, Family Matters. Like, I think from all the tracks. The two tracks I keep going back to are Family Matters and obviously Kendrick's Not Like Us. But Not Like Us has become corny now because all the white people have jumped onto it and turned it into a thing. Fucking allow it. But I actually think those are the two best records, actually. So, you know, for me, they're 1-1. One, one. <laughs> A.B. Sharp. Hold on. There's you, no such thing. You make it make sense. Why would he need to bring you up in that sentence? Why not? Can we stop? No, but hold yeah. on. But why? Sharp said it because he well, said Well, I was already getting slander for the bathroom. I think we're happy. And it was, hold up, and it was going viral. Let's not forget, <laughs> nigga, that I went viral many motherfucking times before, nigga. So it's not, un, it's not outlandish or a reach that the nigga ain't never came across the nigga piece of content. Uh, but no, that's true. We're not saying that he don't know you. We're not saying that he don't know you. 
No, but that's where a lot of people have went on it. Like, Sharpie, you don't fucking know you. I'm like, I don't know him. You haven't, we went, out, you haven't went viral on each other. And you shit, I don't know Drake per se, neither. <laughs> Listen. Listen to AJ. Listen to AJ being petty and being very catty and being very mean. Listen to AJ now. <laughs> you, haven't, know, you, haven't went, you haven't went shit. viral outside of No Jumper verse in a minute, though. See, there's a, there's two levels of viral. Ooh. Like, No Jumper has cultivated <laughs> what he this. Watches. This nigga's he not watched. watching. He he watched. Watched. He's watching. Okay, no, jumper no disrespect to No Jumper. He's, he's watches, watching academics no, more than No Jumper. He's watching it's academics. It's not about watching more. That's just you throwing fucking jabs. I'm telling. I'm not throwing jabs. I'm not throwing jabs. I'm just saying he watches No Jumper. But you're like, nah. He watches academics more. What's that got to do with anything? I'm just saying. Wait, what I'm saying. saying so what I'm saying. That's all I'm wait, saying wait, is wait, I'm wait, listening wait, to how he's speaking about. Could you recite the bar? Could yeah. you recite the bar? Yeah. Just real quick. He said A minor. He said, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. I think y'all patronizing the pimp. Wait, is he calling you a snitch? Yeah. No. What? And tell what? the fans who was it? Why? No, no. Why is he a legend that you just? Why is he a legend? My man, I ain't no snitch. I ain't never. I I'm not saying that. Snitch. Well, let's not even because people take that shit and they start. Yeah, to throw yeah, a I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah. But this another. But that's. But back to what I was saying. There's two different levels of viral. Like no jumper. There's a viralness that's that what we're that's talking mainly, about, bro. But I'm talking about it. There's viralness that's contained. <laughs> AJ does not like Sharp. He does not like him. Within the No Jumper universe. And then there's viralness that breaks out of the No Jumper universe too, where it gets picked up on everything. I, you I haven't gone know. viral outside of No Jumper universe in a minute. You go viral within- I don't go no nowhere else. You go viral within No Jumper universe most else, of the time. Bro, where do I go? I don't go nowhere else, Church. This is where I've been the last three years. You don't understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying exactly I'm saying, what you're saying. No, you're not. You're not. The I re understand. The oh, he's calling him an idiot. He's calling him an imbecile. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm too smart for you. I'm too intelligent. So let me dumb it down for you. You're not understanding what I'm saying. You're a fucking dumb, illiterate, uncultured fucking pimp. You probably dropped out of high school. You're not black. You're a fucking dummy. Like he's saying so much with what he's not saying. Yo, this AJ guy, man, spicy, spicy. The reach of your viralness has been limited within No Jumper. Wow, it used to I be stay. out of No Jumper. I Before I came to No Jumper. No, while you were in No Jumper still. No. You don't understand what <laughs> I'm saying. Bro, that's inaccurate. What he said it again. You're a fucking idiot. Every time he says you don't know I'm son, and every time he says you don't understand what I'm saying, he's basically calling Sharp a fucking idiot. He's basically calling him a fucking redact. And you could tell it's a bit much because this guy in the middle is like, oh, I'll never let that guy talk to me like that. This guy in the middle here is like, he's cringing. He's really, he's, he's feeling the tension. He's like, Ugh. What you're saying? How you gonna tell me when I went viral, homie? I'm telling you, I was going viral before No Jumper. Duh, I said that came too. to No Jumper, and this is where I've stayed. Shout out to Softwork. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to my nigga Mark. Lane. Shout out to yeah. nigga Mark, Straight man. Up, Softwork Underbelly. underbelly. That's, That's a legend. Softwork hey, Underbelly, so, global viral. So, okay. Krishan and Blueface. TV kicking outside that that's that year, broke though. out yeah that broke out of the no jumper viralness recent, you know, right like no jumper year. viralness is like what are you talking about bro I'm confused no here. I'm kind of lost does, sharp, does, any, no, 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 does, no. does anybody else understand yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying sharp, I understand right? you I'm understand what I'm saying I'm, I'm, oh he's basically you see what he did there AJ did really well there sharp went sharp tried to make him look dumb by saying I don't understand what you're saying. Then AJ's asked the room. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Then Sharp, you are the dummy. <laughs> it's, getting real, saying, uh, too, just it's, real, it's getting real controversial in here. But something. I'm trying to pick it no, up. No, 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 no. Look, Sharp, what he's but look, saying. I, I'll, I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you again. I have like, no problem explaining to you. Wrong, no, 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 no. I have no problems explaining it to you again. I'll explain it to you again. I'll dumb it down. Yo, he's being a real patronizing son of a bitch. Oh, AJ. I'm about to say, no, 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 what no, no, no. I'm saying? I'm trying to understand what he's saying. Speaking of controversy, Charles White gave his controversial two cents. Well, wait, no, let's not Whoa, like this. Charles White just gave his controversial two uh, cents uh, and said he forgave. Big up P Nice. I think that's his P Nice. I think he realized the tension. Big up P Nice for moving on the subject and changing it. I've got to be honest. As much as. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big yeah, yeah, big up Addy Z, big up Addy Z. Appreciate you, Addy Z, big up church. Yeah, church. As much as I understand where AJ is coming from, I don't like that approach. This is the reason why I don't think, this is my controversial opinion. Listen to me, guys, if you agree or don't agree. This is why I don't think 
podcast commentators like myself and others, I'm on a much lower level, but podcast commentator people should never interact with the people they talk about. I don't think it's nice because you you know way more about them than they know about you. And maybe you have a bias or maybe you have a dislike for them that they have no idea about. So you come into the conversation with a bit more metal, with a bit more edge to what you're saying, and they just want to hang out and chill. They have no idea who the fuck you are. So I don't like that in the first place. I don't think commentators and stuff and whatever critics online should be talking to the, t the quote unquote talent or the people that they fucking are dissing or insulting on the stream. Just keep it a kind of arm's distance relationship. But then I also don't like this kind of energy that he's bringing where he's being very confrontational because he's kind of like, you know, he's being a bit of a cunt to sharp. And obviously because he doesn't like him for the content, it's like, how can you not like somebody totally as a person based on some videos you see of them on YouTube? It's a little bit too much. It's a bit too personal. If Sharp would have came at him differently on the pod, fair enough, react the way that he did. But they're having a conversation. Sharp's being quite cordial. He's being quite nice, actually. He's being kind of cool. He's actually being, you know, he's not being as loud as he probably would do or as shout as he would do. I don't think that AJ should have approached it that way. I think he did a bit too much. He was being a, he was being a little bit too spicy and trying to be catty and trying to get under sharp skin i don't think that's that's needed because he clearly doesn't like the guy which i think says more about him than the other guys and i also this is just a small contingent to say this i get the tone from that aj guy and please forgive me for saying this but he seems like a real hater like a hater where like he thinks his platform or himself should be on the same level if not better than the sharp and i think personally this is just my personal opinion I think it's a wrong way to come about this kind of content. I think it's way more fun when us, myself, the people in the stream chat, we point and laugh at these people. When you start to act like you're jealous, when you start to act like you want what they have or you don't think they're deserving of it and you should have it type of thing, it's almost like a weird envious sort of thing. I don't think it's good for the content. It kind of gives it a little bit of a mean-spirited vibe. Again, I haven't watched his content, but you know, Sharp is clearly like the most famous guy there. Do you know what I mean? Let, let's let's keep it real. Yes, you might not like him. You might shout out girls, whatever, but he's still putting up numbers. You know what I mean? He's still done very, very well for himself. So to come on his platform, to come at, at his place of work and exactly people are saying in the chat and talk to him like that, it's a bit rude. It's a bit rude. And it's a bit unnecessary. Even though Sharp can be annoying, I get it. It's very unnecessary to do that. So I don't like how he did it. And I think it came across very mean-spirited. Um, and yeah it's not what it's not fun like that because then that what it turns into an argument it gets very shouty it gets very insulting and then you guys start fighting over what over you not liking him over you thinking he's for he's fallen off like imagine if they had a fight imagine they actually went outside and had a fight what would they be fighting about the fact that that guy doesn't doesn't think sharp has been um what's it called his vileness which is not fucking a word by the way but he's not he's not impressed with sharp's lack of virality in recent years he's not uh, he's not impressed with sharp's inability to break the algorithm or to break social media or to break the internet sorry or to fucking dictate and to light the algorithm on fire that's why you want to fight the guy come on bro like you need to relax you need to relax you need to relax and to be fair not to be that guy as well you can't come on those type of streams with forces like that you have to just buy new ones and again, I'm not someone that's like on the appearance. I don't really care about the appearance thing. But you can't come on a live stream like that where they show your legs and have forces in that kind of condition. That He's got those forces. Like, you know how white girls have their forces? Look at that. You know white girl, Air Force Ones? You know, right? Even in the UK, we have them, right? When white girls wear Air Force Ones, yeah, exactly. That's how his Air Force Ones look. He's got that kind of white girl EDC festival Air Force One look. That's what he's fucking got. So he needs to relax. Like you can't come on no jumper with HD cameras that look at your feet with shoes in that condition. You know, you can't. Look at that. White girl Air Force Ones. You can't have that and be talking crazy to Sharp. Like you can't. I know Sharp's I know Sharp can be annoying. I know Sharp is not the most, you know, sometimes can be a bit confrontational, can get under your skin, can be a bit obnoxious, right? But basically trying to get under his skin, trying to call him an idiot, basically being rude on his platform is a bit mad. It's a little bit mad. So I didn't like that, to be fair. Um, and then uh, Sharp also didn't like that because he replied. Sharp didn't like the conversation they had. So he went on stream the same day, I think, or maybe the following day. And he had this to say. Listen to what Sharp has to say about the whole AJ thing. 
AJ didn't cook me. AJ cooked them funky ass Air Forces on his feet. You know that. <laughs> and you know what, church? If he was going to come stream with me, I was going to shoot him some kicks. He looked like he wear the same size. Y'all know I keep 80, 90 damn pairs. Some of them brand new shit. And I was going to bless church. <laughs> I was going to bless him. Shit. Seemed like church needs some help, even when he act like he don't. Like, I right, can't learn nothing from you. Well, shit, nigga, I can definitely teach you how to keep them dusty motherfuckers <laughs> clean, for sure. <laughs> how you argue with a nigga like that? Y'all crazy. You can't argue with no nigga like that, man. I gave it to whatever I could give, like, for what I was going to say. And it was whatever it was, my nigga. Like, what we, what we on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, right? Can you guys see it? Oh, you can't see it. You couldn't see it. Can Can you guys see it? Let me play again one more time. AJ didn't cook me. AJ cooked them funky ass Air Forces on his feet. And he know that. And you know what, church? If he was going to come stream with me, I was going to shoot him some kicks. He looked like he wear the same size. Y'all know I keep 80, 90 damn pairs. Some of them brand new shit. And I was going to bless church. <laughs> I was going to bless him. Shit. Seemed like church needs some help, even when he act like he don't. Like, I right, can't learn nothing from you. Well, shit, nigga, I can definitely teach you how to keep them <laughs> dusty motherfuckers clean, for sure. Oh. Thank you, Uche. How you argue with a nigga like that? Y'all crazy. You can't argue with no nigga like that, man. I gave it to whatever I could give, like, for what I was going to say. And it was whatever it was, my nigga. Like, what we, what we on? By the way, conspiracy theory time. Do you think there's been like a concerted effort to like embarrass Sharp on pods recently? I don't really watch on Jump as close as I should do, but I feel like with point and shoot going heavy, going hard in the paint, you know, attacking Sharp with his videos, really good ones, by the way, but he's, go, he's been going hard in the paint at Sharp recently. And just on your Jumper in general, has there been some sort of like, something happened what's happened to sharp he used to be really highly regarded and now all of a sudden he's become like a bit of the laughing stock he's kind of replaced flacco as like the resident whipping boy everyone's kind of dunking on him what's happening i wonder what happened to cause this something definitely happened to change the whole vibe of what's happening there anyway sharp said that he also said this Straight up, I try to keep it cool, keep it player. Niggas be want to see me crash out. Oh, Sharp, why don't you get up on a nigga? This nigga ain't saying half or nothing. What, because he say he don't like my content, nigga? Oh, well, boo-hoo, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? That <laughs> That's one funny thing. Boo-hoo, nigga. Content, nigga. Oh, well, boo-hoo, nigga. Boo-hoo, nigga. Oh well, boo hoo, 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 nigga. Fuck is you talking about? That shit don't matter. That's nothing. That's nothing. That holds no weight. Like, that don't hold no weight in my life. I just thought this shit was funny this morning because I felt like a nigga came in on a certain agenda. <laughs> to me, that shit failed, nigga. That shit ain't nothing to me. Why ain't a nigga touch me yet? I don't get it. Why don't y'all ask the same niggas? Why ain't they touch me? Why ain't they put hands on me then? I don't get it. All these beefs I'm supposed to have. Why ain't niggas did anything then, homie? Uh, nigga. Motherfuckers is a trip. I don't even want to entertain that no more because that shit, the bullshit ain't nothing, my nigga. And it ain't making no money. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly, Andre. Exactly, Andre. That's it, Andre. That's it, Andre. Specifically, Sharp lost a bit of the aura. And I don't know why specifically. I don't think people have, have looked into him and found, you know, look, see through the acts. I don't think that's true. Something's happened to his aura, though. I don't know what what is the case. Maybe he he is. Maybe those point and shoot videos are getting to him, as some of those pointed out. Maybe that's it. Maybe the point and shoot videos are getting to him a little bit, which is another reason why I think, um, I think I said it before, and I think um Giannis Atempuko, however you pronounce his name, the NBA the NBA player, 
he made a really good point about it recently in some um, panel discussion. He was talking to Stephen A. Smith and he basically said that he used to let Stephen A. Smith's criticism of him get to him. But then he realized that Stephen A. Smith isn't bad or isn't evil. It's just that as a player, as a professional athlete, he shouldn't be watching that sort of stuff. He should be focusing on his game. And I think in general, like I said earlier, I don't think people like myself should be in contact or communicating with people like these guys that like the Concord talent you talk about. And I also don't think on the flip side, those guys should be paying attention to what people like myself and others say about them. You shouldn't. You should just be focusing on the work. You should kind of have tunnel vision. Because if you start looking at what the naysayers are saying, especially in videos, I think it's one thing to read comments, but if you start to watch the video compilations and documentaries that people make about you, it's going to start affecting the way you see yourself and how you act. And it's going to inevitably change how you kind of go on. You don't, you don't, you shouldn't have that. You shouldn't change how you kind of carry yourself and shit based on somebody pointing out you have a weird way of saying things or you repeat yourself or you, uh, whatever, or you scream at girls. You should like, Sharp should still be screaming at girls. He should still be barking at girls. He should still be giving fucking faux or legit fucking pimp talk. He should be giving fucking life lessons and motiv- all the stuff that he was doing before. Like an- anecdotes and vaguenesses and stories that don't go anywhere. That's what he should be doing. He should be doing what he was doing when he first came in. But, you know, he started watching too much content and now, you know, he's a bit in a weird place. But this stream is a good idea, though. Him doing this stream in his own house is a good idea. You know, this nigga asked me, man, what you gonna do some rings? Hey, nigga, them ring, these rings work for a whole lot more than just shining, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Fuck is we talking about, nigga? Stop playing. Stop playing with me, homie. Yeah, exactly, mister. Good, good point. What's the deal with Suspect, by the way? Because Suspect kind of, I don't say looked up to Sharp, but he kind of liked him. He kind of liked Sharp. They had the whole, like, tism thing. Right, he kind of liked him, and now they don't—they're not cool anymore. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on there. Something happened, maybe behind the scenes. <laughs> he doesn't seem bothered at all, does he? He doesn't seem bothered at all, is he? Like drinking copious amounts, chain smoking cigarettes, or are they like weed? I don't know. But he—he seems—he seems like. <laughs> Sharp is going through it, bro. Sharp is fucking going through it. But yeah, anyway, that happened. Um, let's go back to the video and then we can continue back to the fucking um, Brendan stuff. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. I love, I'm starting this, to love podcasting, bro. Yeah. Like how I love music and I love rap. Like, you feel me? That's really my first thing, like right. rap and music. But now that I've been podcasting up here for like two years, bro, I love this shit. What's appealing about it? Uh, bro. I've always been like a um an outspoken ass person. I yeah. always been like this. Yeah. I always voiced my opinions. I always passionate as fuck about my opinions. I was always ready to debate a nigga down, right, nigga right, uh, right. about my mm-hmm. opinions. Whether you with your homie smoking and a topic come up, I'm the nigga that's going to debate you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like now, nah, nigga, I didn't. I get paid for that shit. You when you were a kid, blessing. I was about to say because when you were a kid, you were like that's what <laughs> I like to do. By the way, something wrong with AJ's knees. Fuck it, now. What's that extra membrane here? Or is that like a tattoo? Or is that just the dark like what is that? Is that like an extra thing? Or is that the muscle? What is this? It looks like he's got like a knee pad installed underneath uh, maybe he's got reconstructed surgery on his knees. He look like he's got like an another bit of flesh underneath that. What the fuck is that? Yo. Maybe he needs to put some E45 on that bad boy, innit? Or maybe some Dodo Usan. That's what he needs to put. Maybe he needs to put Uche will know about that, innit? Uche knows about the Dudu Dudu is it Dudu Osan. Uche knows about the Dudu Osan. He, he might need to put a bit of that on the fucking knees, bro. He might need to put a bit of that on the knees. Some Lufa, some Dudu Osan, and get some of that shit gone, bro. Because those knees are looking wild, bro. Wild. But yeah. how am I making that a job? Exactly. Nigga, a Arguing lawyer. with niggas and yeah. debating yeah. about Be a topics. lawyer and go to law school for seven oh, years. Oh, just as a just as like a reminder, because we didn't do all the intros, of course, Almighty is here, but it's homeroom universities in here as well, too. Fact. That's what that's, 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 that's what they called. They called home, home they called Jacobs. home run, yeah. they called yeah, home run university. Too, that's a fact. Yeah, that's mm. a motherfucking fact. Yes, we got yes, them yes. boys in here. But <laughs> yeah. no cap, I ain't gonna lie, like I told Josh, you feel me? When I first got the news, I ain't gonna lie, I was looking like damn gang. I'm about to say talk, who you gonna miss more? You know, I don't who you gonna miss the most. I don't know who's leaving and who's staying. Yeah, you do. No, I, I don't. 
I just know. off like a gut feeling you don't I know. know. Nah, I'm gonna be real. I don't think any not, of them know, honestly. Nah, because think, it's not about personalities. Next... It's not like, yeah, y'all niggas need to get the fuck up out of here and we clean the ship. I don't think that's what it is. I thought it was about seniority. So, yeah, I'm not nah, I don't think that's what it is either. Cause I'm not basing it off that because if that's the case, nigga, I only been here two years. There's been niggas who've been here longer than me. <laughs> I think it seems more like about what you can provide for what we for what y'all trying to do now. The like, new narrative, if yeah, you, the new direction. If you're not a niggas, n- niggas are talking about this Adam Twenty Two thing. Like he fucking works at fucking Apple or something. Like he's fucking Sander fucking Pachai. This isn't fucking Google, man. Let's relax. He just stopping the shows because he was paying them too much money and he wants to keep all the money for himself. It makes sense, but let's relax with the fucking you know, super deep dives in why he's doing it. Like, it's pretty obvious why he's doing it. He's paying too much, too much outgoings. He wants to keep the money for himself and just double down on the quality. It is what it is. Even if they do one show a week, they will probably still make a bunch of money anyway. So it's not like, you know, the shows are contributing anything to the bottom line of fucking No Jumper. Interviewer, you can't a- Adam, ask no questions. A- Adam 22 okay. could probably run No Jumper from his own bedroom if he wanted to. Adam 22 could run it from his own bedroom. Be yeah. less mic time for you. So right, like, right, 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 if you right. was just the type of person who can only come and pop shit on the news, and that's cool, but uh, yeah. we're not doing fucking that no more. Fucking Austin Casey with the fucking bomb. That's actually a good point I never thought about. That's really sad though, right? If that's all you have in your life, it sort of is like Google to them. <laughs> that's so true. It's like they're overanalyzing this like minor thing. I, I get it's annoying because it's a job that you had. I understand it's frustrating. I've lost jobs before when there's mass layoffs. It's probably annoying. Oh, by the way, not to get on this AJ's bumper too much, but does he look a little bit like Saucy Santana? Oh my bugging. Does that AJ guy kind of, kind of look like Saucy Santana? Is it giving Saucy? Huh. Is it giving Saucy Santana? I don't know. What do we think? Is it giving Saucy Santana or not? Or am I bugging out? <laughs> Does he kind of look like Saucy Santana? Or maybe I look like Saucy Santana. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I look. Maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know. He kind of looks like Saucy Santana, isn't it? <laughs> but then your position is starting to look a little finicky. Right. Yeah. Gotta get in Facts. where you fit in. Uh, so if you versatile, you not worried. Like this nigga right here, he grinning, he, he mourning, but deep down <laughs> on the inside, he planning his rollout. Especially because Adam was like, it's honestly beautiful to see how Almighty has just grown and flourished into the butterfly he's Oh, you seen that? Uh, yeah, nigga on uh, Snapchat. Add this. Of course, we've seen, five we've seen everything. Uh, hey, yeah. look, look, on some real shit, though. Like, cool. Yeah, go ahead. I wanted just to say one thing in, like, about the news. Um, just didn't when know. we started doing this like a couple of years ago, we only had like two people doing it. Mm-hmm. Most people couldn't come in and have a, cons- like, a conversation about you know, the most trending topics and all that shit. And we kind of, uh, you know, all of you guys, Look how many people we brought through here who are doing this like on a daily basis now. We were able to only do that, you know, two, three times a week. So, like for all of you guys, I really appreciate that shit. Yeah. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Excuse you guys me. Should all be proud of like Addy Z because this concept of like Addy Z, you're too dark. I go, I go. Looks like Rick Ross, but you think I'm, t- you think I'm darker than than Saucy Santana, really? For real, I, I, I I've got a very delusional idea of my likeness right i understand that but do you think i'm i'm, I'm darker than Sosa santana am i darker than him do you think so or we're about the same we're about the same skin tone i think what do you guys think i think we're about the same shade no am i darker or am i or, or about the same what do you guys think <laughs> what do you guys think i'm about the same in it no adizy adizy is trying to go on like i'm fucking um what's his name uh, Akon. How does he think some fucking Akon? Take that back, motherfucker. How does he think some fucking Akon dark? Ain't that fucking dark, nigga? Okay. How does he think some like that? That's what Adiz thinks. When Adiz sees me, Adiz sees this. (laughs) 
Uh, that's so. Uh, I thought I was light. <laughs> doing, yeah, doing this in a non-podcast form is it, difficult. It's hard. It's not easy mm -hmm. as, as it every looks, especially day. to have no Five dull moments, no silent moments, no right. dull moments. Talking about something every single day, regardless of did, dealing with your real life shit, going yeah. home and then it should be early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't got jobs. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I don't got no fucking job. So waking up early in the morning, like, <laughs> nigga, you know, cat. And I've noticed, I've noticed 10 a.m. for LA niggas is very yeah, early. Yeah, I, I was about to say, uh, this we is from, we from the South. This is not early. Yeah, yeah nigga, this yeah. is, yeah. yeah. 10 a.m. for a nigga like me. This is me. early for y'all, I guess. Boy, yeah. if I'm not on the job, nigga, I'm asleep. Yeah, we from no the South. No cap. We got Look roosters here, that wake LA us up. Yeah, niggas, yeah, niggas is up there. I've been in the six months and still my sleep routine. Y'all roosters be sleep. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, hey, look, I appreciate the time. I got a chance to be here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, bless, bless Hellcat, man. I like Hellcat. I'm not going to lie. I like Hellcat. Hellcat was one of my slightly favorites on there, but she's just too laid back and chill. She didn't really, like, stamp her authority enough and give, you know, give it to kind of, which is probably her personality, just a chill, laid back um, stud. But I like Hellcat. I'm kind of gutted for Hellcat as well. And Hellcat seems to be really, really pissed. Sad, actually. Sad. No, I'm 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 still working with no jumper. I'm, I, I fuck with the no jumper umbrella. You know right, what I'm right. saying? And shit, man. I gotta How much go time back to you Houston. Put in here now? I gotta go back to Houston, man. You out of here? Yeah. Oh man. man. I gotta go back to Houston. How long have you been with no Damn. jumper? Damn. So Hellcat Hellcat moved to L.A. for no jumper. Sheesh. So far, about a year. Um. Yeah. Basically, I've been on on the show. You know. About what I'm a saying? year. Okay. About a year. Hell yeah, man. It's been crazy because I've been here two years and I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I was going to last this long. It's back Even though I'm not going nowhere, but I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to be here this long. Yo, man, you know Was me. that you just like, you got, are you a self-sabotager? I don't want to say a self-sabotager, but I'm just, you just a, didn't know I'm a wild green. card. You was green to it. Yeah. I am a wild card. I'm Bro, still, the nigga was almost out of here within six months with the Kelpie shit. Like, it's I'm, like, it's, I'm yeah, still, it's still niggas yeah, gotta like, realize, bro. Oh, he man, almost didn't make it six months. And by the way, I wanted to tell you to your face, because when we watched that clip back, we had such a great time with it. Your form, or like you, niggas don't understand. We podcasters, right? Yeah. This yeah. equipment costs money. You yeah. can't just pop off and not be conscious of it. This nigga, fuck. I took it off. Threw them took it off. Got right in the ass. <laughs> I was like, you just right. Ew, ew, ew. Years, a couple year later, like I really like the way you punched that like, fucking defenseless white boy on fucking camera. Like yuck, yuck. Ew. <laughs> that nigga is a professional. They must, they must have fucking, they must have like communal knee pads over there on their fucking show that they pass around with each other. Like, come on, man. Let's, let's, let, let's relax. Let's relax. It's just, as if he's like talking to fucking Antonio Brown. Oh my God. I love that. I love when you caught the ball that one time and you jumped in the air. Like as if he bumped into Tom Brady. Tom, bro, you're one of my favorite fucking footballers ever. You know that one fucking throw that you did? Like what? You're not talking to fucking Cristiano Ronaldo, bro. Like, relax. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we broke that shit down from A to Z. That shit hey, was amazing. It was crazy. But look, what I be trying to tell people is <coughs> on some real shit. What's a more cringy word? Stream chat, let me know. What's more cringy of a, of a... What's more cringy to refer yourself as? A content creator or a podcaster? What's more cringy? Saying you're a content creator or saying you're a podcaster? <laughs> <coughs> I ain't never been a prisoner, no shit like that. But I always say these niggas put me off the street. Like, yeah, I had my rap career, I was doing my thing, but nigga, rapping didn't stop me from being in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was still being rapping. I'm still I mean, outside, nigga. They go, I'm, they go I'm, hand I'm, in hand. They go I'm hand in hand, hand, hand at the exactly. end of the day. The, yeah. Nigga, the streets and rap is like this. Yeah. So it, it never took me out. You know what I'm saying? So like, when they called me up here, nigga, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. You know how this shit be? It's ups and downs to this shit, mm -hmm. nigga. Oh, and yeah. I was having my down as far as rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Up here, oh, like, you're talking yeah. about just like the career. Part. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know that shit. It, it goes up and down when you're an independent rapper. You know what I'm saying? Even a mainstream one. You know. So it's like, nigga, I will have ups, downs, ups, downs, and it was a little slow. You know what I'm saying? So I'm maneuvering however I got to do it through the streets, nigga. And how I get, nigga, I got up here from slapping somebody. I get into it with Nate Dogg's son. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And did they interview Didn't him? That, something just happened again with that, yes, right? He hates me now for life, but I understand. 
Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. that's not bothering yeah. me. But, like, y'all just him. went back and forth or something like that? Yeah, he yeah. always called me out to box <laughs> every couple months. I don't know. Oh, like a celebrity boxing match kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, but I was oh, like, okay. I slapped you. I don't want to Anyway. Do you I'm I'm over this. Let's move on to Jojo to the fighting the kids stuff. I'm fucking bored. You get the gist of what's happening. We can cover it properly another time when something else kind of pops off. It is what it is. We know what the deal is. 